The scene is dominated by a giant cavity that has been carved by a single star. It's a picture that might be worth more than a thousand words. NASA and its partners, including the Canadian Space Agency, have released a new image of the Ro Ophiuchi cloud complex to mark the first 365 days of analysis by the James Webb Space Telescope. We can finally see uh, kind of the full cycle of star and planet formation. The telescope was launched into space a year and a half ago and has stunned Earthlings with its images over the last 12 months. This one capturing these young 50 stars in a complex 390 light years away. Seen as the successor to the Hubble, the James Webb is an infrared telescope allowing it to capture light that would otherwise be blocked. The data that we've gotten so far tells us, oh yeah, this is working great. Mm -hmm. This is, in fact, we can push harder than we thought. And while the latest pictures show what our sun and solar system would look like as they started, the web will also allow researchers to view galaxies as they first started to form. Astrophysicists were expecting to see baby galaxies, but so far, they've only seen teenagers. So either the laws of galaxy evolution and physics uh, don't quite work the way that we thought, or perhaps galaxies were starting to form even earlier in the history of the universe than we thought. Webb was intended to operate for at least a decade, but its launch required less fuel than expected, meaning that time will be extended by 10 to 15 years, leaving plenty for scientists to uncover more secrets about the cosmos. Up until now, we've basically seen the title page of the universe, the, and then jumping straight into like chapter 10. Uh, for the first time, we're able to go back and read those earlier chapters in the universe's story. Kyle Benning, Global News.